What's up you sim racers out there, it's Larry TJR Sim here and today we are looking at a set of Corsa Competition and we are setting up uh, this game for VR settings and this is using the Oculus Rift S. The new Rift S is actually pretty dang amazing uh, as far as how much clarity you are getting in your device or in your HMD there as well as the uh, higher FPS while cranking up the settings uh, to high levels uh, in most games actually and uh, of course this is with using a hardware I'm using is a 2080 Ti so you would expect it uh, expect yourself to be able to crank them up pretty high on that uh, but yeah the display on the on the Rift S is is a little more than what it is on the Rift so it is more taxing on your GPU so Nothing a 1080 Ti shouldn't be able to handle, but these settings I'm going to show you are for a 2080 Ti. And uh, let's get into it real quick. Now, just as far as how the game is set up, I have played with a lot of different settings with this. And uh, I'm going to just kind of give you a short skit on each one with light rain. Uh, with various, various weather conditions. I'm going to do heavy rain, light, light rain, and clear. <clears throat> These are all at 1,700 hours, and I'm not doing a whole 10-minute race for you. I left the multiplier at one, so we can stay, uh, you know, not having the dynamic weather uh, scrolling through there. So uh, keep the harsh conditions for as long as possible. Uh, starting position 10 every time. Opponent count 12. Uh, you know, the skill and aggressiveness didn't really matter for the testing, but. What I have found is is your sweet spot is is really 12 to 15. However, if you are and this is in VR, uh, however, if you are on a uh, a nice sunny clear day, uh, you can crank it up uh, quite a bit more. Uh, obviously, you can crank it up all the way if you don't mind any uh, AC grist reproduction, reprojection. Sorry, not reproduction, uh, reprojection. And that is because um, the Oculus actually does the reprojection really well, so it's it's not that easy to identify, especially if you're in the in the rain, because uh, where it does get, you know, going to the uh, the the fuzzy mode, the the AC grist mode, uh, you don't notice it. Uh, well, really, you don't really notice it at all when you're in the rain. Uh, so it's because you know the the rain actually the liquid. The liquid sunshine seems to hide it all. So anyway, uh, but that is the conditions that I'm using. Uh, 12 was kind of a good sweet spot as far as how many people you uh, have on there. This is 12 opponents, so yourself would make 13. So let's get into it here. Weather conditions, like I said, I did heavy rain, heavy rain, medium rain, light rains, all the all the same. Uh, light rain, you can actually turn up your uh, settings. Uh, a little bit more uh, because it's, it's not near as harsh but just for to try to keep things simple so you can set it and forget it uh, these are the settings that I'm using uh, for these variations light rain to heavy rain uh, actually storm uh, as well it works fine for storm <laughs> if you drive in storm God help you if you can't see anything so you can almost pretty much run uh, max out settings on everything in Storm. And yes, you're going to be in 40 FPS, but you can't see anything anyways. So uh, it really wouldn't matter because uh, you, you you would not be able to identify that is in asynchronous mode. So, But Storm is definitely very challenging to race in. So I keep that in mind. The rain actually tends to hide some of the... Uh, uh, the uh, blurriness as far as when it goes into asynchronous mode which normally you just notice more at distances not really in your cockpit anyway so oops let's go back 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 out go to options video and these are what my settings are now I did notice if you are running a 4k screen you're gonna want to crank this down to 1980 by 1080p uh, because it actually Windows seems to have a really hard time with 4k screens right now I'm using a uh, Actually, I just got a new screen. I did have an Acer Predator X 34 and uh, Had the display port go on that go out on that so I sold it to a buddy uh, For cheap and I went ahead and tried using the 4k screen for a while 
uh, testing it out and stuff, but I ended up with a Alienware um, 34 inch uh, monitor, which is I'm really digging. So a review coming on that soon as well. But these are the settings. Resolution scale 100. You're gonna to want to leave that at 100. Uh, this pretty much unlocks your VR pixel density. I would love to show you this in VR, but I can't. Well, I probably could if I turned on the mirror mode uh, that the Oculus has, but I think for the simplification of the videos, uh, this is probably a little easier not having a a uh, screen move around as my head moves around. So, uh, but yeah, resolution mode 100. If you saw my previous videos, now, of course, this is after a set of course is released, and this is the one point. 01 or something the very latest uh edition of of the uh a set of course actually when it released at 1.0 uh vr was uh more broke and then they did an update and it really fixed a lot of things so now i think it's at 1.01 and uh that actually uh works really really well so keep in mind these are in the rain so view distance on low shadows on low anti-aliasing on high Temporal, there is a another setting I, I saw on on YouTube that uh, you can try out. However, I don't have that option right now. Uh, you got to, I think, put it in developer mode or something. But anyway, uh, just go with this for now. Uh, effects on low, post processing mid. That, that's a good, good happy medium right there for mid. Uh, foliage on mid. Textures high. 70 meters seems to be a good sweet spot to see things. Uh, if you are having some problems with uh, frame rates dropping, and if you do want a little bit more frame rate, you can drop this on down to uh, 20, and that will definitely help. However, you won't see uh, very far in your distance of your mirrors. Uh, or, sorry, you won't see the cars uh, too far back in your mirrors. So. Um, mirror quality on low is fine. I actually like medium, uh, and I'll run medium personally myself a lot. And uh, because the asynchronous mode when it kicks in doesn't really bother me too much. And as you get through, uh, as you're running through a race, you tend to the field tends to spread out. So when you're all bunched up and stuff, when it does go into asynchronous mode. You're not really noticing it so much because you're paying attention to all the cars around you. Uh, so you can kind of keep that in mind as well. You could bump the quality up to uh, medium for the mirror quality and, and be fine. And as your pack starts to thin out a little bit, uh, you will uh, uh, reap the benefits of it. So, uh, But uh, mirror resolution low. And what was that, low? Yeah, low. Uh, opponent visibility 15 anything less than that uh, you, you start to have I would say anything less than 12 actually uh, you start to have cars drop off even when you're going uh, when you have like six or seven cars in front of you or six cars in front of you something like that you may be mid-pack uh, the, the program seems to have a hard time of which cars which 12 cars is going to keep uh, in your in your uh, viewability so uh, allow you to view it so 15 seemed to be a pretty good sweet spot uh, to be able to view uh, the cars, you know, say six deep in front of you and six deep behind you. So pretty good. Uh, VR, dis uh, VR pixel density, almost a disability. Uh, so Saturday night. Uh, this, of course, since I'm on the 2D screen right here, it's not going to unlock it. However, if you're in VR, it will unlock it. Uh, I tell you, run 100 and I run 150%, and that is really good. It's a real good sweet spot. Daytimes, I'll run uh, 170, and I'll actually give you settings for that when we get to that section. But uh, for the, this purpose, for rain, any anything with rain, uh, and even nighttime, uh, 150% is uh, all you all you can really stand. So uh, with a 2880 Ti, materials on mid, you can bump it up to high. Uh, it will. Uh, make things look a little bit cleaner in your cockpit however is so marginal uh, that it's it's not worth the extra you know three or four FPS so uh, temporal unsampling enabled enabled bloom off I still again I still don't notice anything difference I didn't notice when I have it on 
uh, it, it does drop some frame rate. So uh, the fog, I actually in VR, I don't like this on. Uh, it runs fine with it on, on low, even high. Um, but it, it tends to have a different cloudy sheen uh, across the screen in VR. And uh, so I, I like it off because uh, darker scenes tend to look better with it disabled. Uh, when you have a darker scene and you enable this, it tends to look like a low gray uh, across the screen. So don't really care for that look, but you know, play with it yourself. Uh, foliage quality, very low. Uh, H load is enabled. Advanced sharpening filter enabled. Motion blur off. 100% saturation, white balance, neutral, sharpness zero, frame rate 100. Although I'm running a 120 hertz screen right now, but for VR, uh, 100 is plenty. Obviously, with the Rift S, you're only running uh, 80 hertz, so I could bump that down, but I haven't noticed it affecting it. Uh, camera dirt effect, I don't really care for that, so I'll leave it on one. Uh, light absorption on high, that actually is, is a nice nice setting I do recommend high you can go low uh, but it didn't seem to affect my frame rate so high height is height is all right image contrast um, 50 exposure gain 40 exposure gain I'm sorry on 40 and uh, I like that one actually that looks pretty good like that anything more is is uh, is too much and anything less is not quite bright enough so locked horizon that's to your individual taste so I generally run in motion, but I did go back and do these videos, turning my motion off so you don't get sick watching them. So anyway, those are the settings for uh, the rain. I will roll the, the footage on the uh, videos and then um, try to, and, and, you know, let me know how you like it. So anyway, check you later. All right, there's some rain in this session. So watch out for slippery curves and remember to break early. Stay double fire.
sim racer so here it is the settings the vr settings for the nighttime racing we continue on with this journey uh same same uh scenario as with the uh rain setting so we're still gonna have you know a little difference now is it's nighttime it's uh, zero o'clock yeah 10 minute race of course we didn't do it a whole 10 minutes same multiplier starting position 10 12 cars and skill level doesn't really matter and then let's go into the track weather conditions we kept it at clear uh, I will do one as as well in the rain as well which is a lot more taxing for sure alright so options video alright same thing here same settings you've seen before uh, with the uh, or, or similar settings that you've seen with the rain 100% mid you distance mid, uh, you will notice that we were able to bump up a lot of the um, settings here from low uh, to medium to high so uh, medium for view distance shadows at medium anti you on high temporal effects on medium get those nice spark effects on the track off the cars and stuff uh, so at nighttime it looks really nice uh, with those effects turned on post processing on medium Foilage, uh, medium, uh, texture on high, 70 meters, uh, same for the mirror, mirror quality is low. Uh, this one with nighttime on medium does look a tad better, although it's, uh, it is costly for your uh, frame rate. So, uh, leave it on medium, I'm sorry, leave it on low. Mirror resolution actually doesn't even come up in VR, so it doesn't matter, but uh, opponents visibility again 15 and now the uh, VR pixel density uh, even though like I said a while ago you cannot see this unless you are in VR uh, and of course this has to be resolution scale at 100% to enable this VR pixel density uh, but we are running 150% uh, with the uh, nighttime racing the uh, materials have bumped it up to high uh, temporal unsampling enabled bloom off the fog again off uh, the foliage quality very low the other two enabled disabled saturation 100 neutral balance zero sh extra sharpness because I already have the advanced sharpen filter on if you didn't know you really don't want to turn up the sharpness here if you have the advanced filter on uh, frame rate same uh, camera dirt effect is the same light absorption is the same on high and then 0.5 for the contrast and exposure gain 0.40 with locked horizon at 50 so very similar settings to the rain uh, so all you have to end up what you end up getting to do basically is keep your super sampling at 150 percent and uh, is if you ran from a rain track to a uh, nighttime track and you can do this while you're in the game, so no sense in having to back out or anything, which is really nice. So you'll, you'll just end up bumping up your, your shadows and your uh, view distances. Everything basically on medium, uh, except for your mirror stuff will be on low. Uh, textures, of course, you should always have that locked in at high. Anyway, that's it for that one. And we will go on to the uh, showing you the race at nighttime, and then we'll do the clear settings last. All right. Stay double five.
Flat Sim Racer. So now we're going to look at the settings for a clear track. Uh, cloudy track is about the same as well. Is not about the same. It is the same. Weather conditions, as you can see here, are clear. Cloudy, I'm getting the same results with these settings. So I'll just cover this clear one. Uh, variability. Actually, this game's so much fun, guys. Uh, you leave the variability up, sometimes you get a little bit of rain. Uh, it's just so many different dynamic situations. So, anyway, uh, for this purpose, that is clear, and we are running noon. Uh, same thing, everything else is still the same settings. Noon, uh, one times uh, time multiplier is at one. So, keeping everything as constant as we can. All right, so the. Do, do, do video settings are everything's the same on top pretty much you're gonna see the same uh, situations as, as you did with the uh, nighttime and rain and all that although we are able to bump things up quite a bit uh, as you can see here so view and distance we can go to medium uh, you can actually even experiment with high in some cases as well depending on how demanding the track is it, it doesn't tax it too hard changing this distance out, uh, but it does, you know, you know, it costs you an average three to five FPS in some cases. So also keep in mind that I am video recording this. So, you know, you got, you know, somewhere around a 10% loss, uh, but it's uh, handling it really well, actually, with the uh, NVIDIA screen capture that I'm using. Uh, by far the best as far as not taxing the GPU uh, when you're recording. So now you'll sleep better knowing this okay <laughs> all right so shadows we're able to bump up as well to medium anti-aliasing of course on high uh the type temporal effects medium where you'll notice we get to see keep that up high as well like we did for nighttime post-processing medium really like that setting there um see foliage medium texture on high 70 meters is still a sweet spot uh if you are having some frame rate issues are you're just wanting to keep your frame rate as high as possible all the time uh, then go ahead and bump it down to 20 meters and you're still able to see the cars uh, coming up behind you you just won't resolve some of the other information uh, like the trees and scenery that's just passed that as well so uh, and it's a little glitchy I think at 20 sometimes you end up having like a white track behind you uh, so it is what it is mirror quality we are leaving it on medium that does uh slightly improve the mirror uh images uh, around you you know keep in mind this is daytime so i want everything to look resolved as possible uh with a minimal amount of jaggies because you can really tell them uh, you can tell the jaggies are popping up a lot more in the daytime or rather you'll notice them with your eye uh, more in daytime as if you would say at nighttime um Mirror resolution doesn't apply for the VR. Opponent visibility 15 and still, again, we are going to be running 150% uh, pixel density. Like I said, this only pops up uh, as a, a option, a non-grade. It's non-grade out now because we're on the 2D screen, but when you're in VR, this does pop up. Material quality is on high. Temporal and sampling. Bloom off. Fog, I don't like it, uh, so I leave it off as explained in the other parts of this video for very low everything else is still the same as what you had seen in the previous settings filter uh, advanced filter advanced sharpen filter enabled uh, motion blur off saturation white balance sharpness frame limit all that is the same as you can see here and of course you get it hit apply all right, so then uh, next up, you'll see the uh, settings taken in action, and that will conclude the uh, rest of this video. So I hope you enjoyed this. hope this is helpful for you, and I will do some separate videos uh, on this as well. Uh, if you want to know some preferred settings where you want to have an actual highest FPS possible and you don't really care about the screen resolution being as high, then let me know. However, 150% uh, seems to be the really sweet spot for the Oculus Rift S when it comes to uh, VR. It seems to optimize all the pixel goodness uh, at, that, at that setting there. Uh, anything a little bit higher is, of course, better, uh, but at the cost of 
of uh, frame rate. Uh, do keep in mind, a set of course with Constitution, really the max um, the max super sampling you are going to want to run in this game uh, with a 2080 Ti, which is the best on the market right now. It would be 170%. Uh, it would be the max, even if you're doing hot lapping out there uh, with just you on the track. You could pretty much max out everything on Epic, for that matter, and run 170% uh, and and get away with it just fine. Uh, but as soon, soon as you start introducing cars, uh, your troubles will begin. So uh, keep that in mind. So less amount of cars you want to run, the more settings you can increase. Uh, it's very dependent on how many cars are in the scenery or very close to, to your car, uh, that is. You know, if they're a good um, 2,000 meters away from you, it doesn't affect you so much. So anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoy this. L like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. More goodness coming to you. I am out.